Hi students, in this video, we will discuss percentage, base, and rate. So, let's start. Samahan niyo ako kung paano isolve itong mga questions na to. Okay? So, kailangan natin gumawa ng formula. So, may formula, triangle diagram. So, P all over base and rate. And P stands for percentage. B, this is your base. And R, rate. Okay. Pag unknown si P, equals base times R or base times rate. Okay? Pag B yung unknown or base, the formula is P over R. P over R or base equals percentage over rate. Pag rate naman yung nawawala, the formula is percentage over base or P over B. Yan. So, magagamit natin to. Now, let's start. Letter A. What is 35% of 120? So, ang hinahanap natin dito is percent. Okay? Since percent, ito yung gagamitin natin. P equals base times rate. So, this is our rate and this is the base. Okay? So, percent equals base 120 times 35%. Since hindi natin pwedeng i-multiply na 35%, so i-convert natin into decimal. So, para i-convert itong 35% into decimal, i-divide natin siya sa 100. So, 35 divided to 100, nagiging 0 0.35 or 3500. Now, P equals 120 times 0 0.35. So, pag minultiply na natin to ang lalabas 42 okay 42 so what is 35% of 120 so the answer is 42 Ganun lang. next letter B what percent of 60 is 15 what percent of 60 is 15 so, in this question, uh, hindi porket sinabing what percent, eh percent na yung hinahanap. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is rate. Kasi, ang percent natin, percentage natin is eto. And this is our base. So, since rate yung hinahanap natin, gagamitin natin itong rate equals to percentage over base. So, rate equals percentage percentage natin is 15 okay so 15 gagawin ilalagay eh, natin dito sa taas 15 over base 60 so 15 divided to 60 pag gumamit tayo ng calculator o kaya sinold natin so ang lalabas is 0 0.25 or 2500 since hindi pa siya nakaform na rate so imumultiply natin siya ng 100 so 0 0.25 times 100 equals 25 since what percent lalagay na lang natin yung percent okay Okay, great to say is the number of hundreds part taken followed by number sign. Okay? 
Then letter C, 5% of what number is 12.25? Now, so ang nawawala naman dito is base. Kasi we have the, may rate na tayo dito and meron tayo percentage. So, hahanapin natin kung saan galing itong 12.25 bago siya mabawasan ng 5%. Okay? So, base yung nawawala. So, base equals percentage over rate. Now, percentage natin is 12.25. So, 12.25 over rate natin, 5%. So, gagawin natin siyang decimal. So, 5% over 100, 0.05. Okay. So, 12.25 divided to 0 0.05 got 245 So yan So eto na yung base natin So ganyan lang kadali pagkuha ng percentage rate and base So tandaan nyo lang to PBR or yung is in mathematical equation is I stands for equals then yung of stands for multiplication so, kagaya dito sa letter A what is 35% of 120 so what, so hindi pa natin alam so unknown muna siya okay is equals 35% so, gawin natin siyang decimal, 0.35 of multiplication, 120. So, unknown what equals 0.35 times 120, 42. So, same lang din sa paggamit natin ng triangle tra diagram. Okay? So, ganun din dito. So, what percent of 60 is 15? So, what percent to? Unknown to. What percent? So, maging ganyan na. Unknown natin. Of multiplication. 60. Sulat natin. Is equals 15. Yeah. So, unknown times 60. So, magiging. Ito na. 60x equals 50. O, para masolve natin yung unknown, divide natin to ng both 60. Then cancel, bring down x. 15 divided to 60 is 0 0.25 or 2500 times 100 magiging 25. Pag pinorm mo siya into percent, kasi what percent? Followed by percent sign. So, same lang din sa dito. Ang ganda lang pag sa mathematical equation natin. So, 5% of what number is 12.25? So, 5%, 0. 0. 0.05 of, sabi ko kanina, times multiplication. What number, so unknown, unknown yan, is equals 12.25. Yan. So, 0 0.05 times unknown, yung hindi pa natin alam. So, magiging 0 0.05, yan. 12.25. So, yan. So, ititipide na natin siya ng 0 0.05. 0 0.05. So, cancel. So, yung hinahanap natin na base, ang sagot, 245. So, ganyan lang ang pag-solve sa percentage, base, and rate. So, stay at home, keep safe, God bless, care using right answer. See you again.